Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, 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 Salabasiada. Holy, 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 and the people say, Holy, holy. To him who sits upon the throne and even to the Lamb be blessing, be honor, be glory, be power forever. Be blessing, be honor, be glory, be power forever. We bless you. Just open up yourself to the atmosphere of the spirit. In this kind of atmosphere, everything is possible. The healing, the lifting, the impartation, the visions, supernatural encounters of the spirit. Oh, in your presence, every burden leaves. In your presence, wisdom comes. In your presence, we ascend to dimensions in the spirit. We bless you, Majesty. We worship you. Ashapando skalipa ruskatiata. We bless you. Just press for a few minutes. This is Koinonia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. That it abide with us now and forevermore. King of kings, Lord of lords. Faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, 
we thank you for Jesus we thank you for your wisdom thank you for your power for your presence in this place there are things that only happen in your presence thank you for the gift of your presence thank you for the power of your word thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you we are investing in the spirit for the bible says he that sows into the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption many of you are receiving impartations even in this atmosphere that glory is just resting upon you that shekinah coming upon you like the dew upon Hammon. Just let it rest upon your spirit. We are changed in his presence. There are things that die in his presence. Attitudes that just die in his presence, wrong attitudes. The flesh just dies in his presence. We know the value of your presence, O oh God. And when you trust us with your presence, we are grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Let us be changed, even by your presence. Tonight, O oh God, we are here again to listen. We are here again to receive. We are here again to ascend deeper realms, dimensions in the spirit. Spirit of grace, we pray. Malish kal shala sopraskia Hea shalea sabra hasia tala ho shabe kasubia Kladi mahazia na shala kos ebada kosia Krendi gibala kosia ta proskia ta I'm opening your eyes say the spirit of the Lord I'm opening your eyes that you will see I'm opening your eyes that you will see Your power is in your sight I am opening your eyes that you will see. I am opening your eyes that you will see. I am opening your eyes that you will see. Your power is in your sight. Sheka shola sabash. Hianda kasodo krasi dehe ne bakaruzia ebari. Shabala zete salakuzia tabra akusia. holy thou art holy there is none like you in your presence that is where I must be we cry holy thou art holy there is none like in your presence that is where I must be for in the mighty precious glorious and majestic name of Jesus we worship In the name of Jesus, we worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Ask him for an encounter tonight. Give me an encounter even by your spirit. Is someone praying? Talk to Jesus. Don't look around. Give me an encounter. 
Sapratigi balakusi adaba. Sapa saprandeski atalokusi brahaski. Alleluia. Alleluia. Do you know why many people are not changed in the presence of the Lord? Many reasons. But you see, most people have not learned the value of the presence of God. The value of the presence of God. It says, be still and you will know. You see, when God comes manifesting his presence like this, there are many things that happen in these kinds of atmosphere. There are requests that you may have been praying for for a long time and that presence just comes with strange answers. For some of you, while we are singing, it's not the song you are hearing. The singing only open your ears so that you will hear what God is saying and with precision. God will begin to guide you. For some of you, you are here and you are, you are already exhausted in your spiritual experience. There is no strength, there is no capacity, there is no stamina. And when the word of the Lord comes, even in worship, strength, 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 strength is a surging of his strength. This is not just an impartation of power alone. There are many things that happen. For some of you in his presence, while you just soak and you worship, there are battles that you are not even aware of. The mighty one, even the jealous one will arise from the place of worship and command strange victories for you. Did Miriam not sing? I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and its riders have been thrown into the sea. I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and its riders have been thrown into the sea. As you sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and its riders will be thrown into the sea this is a prophetic word for someone hey. as you sing unto the lord uh -huh. for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and its riders will be thrown into the sea Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Before we sit, I want you to receive three prophetic blessings that the Lord put in my spirit. Number one is a prophetic word for open heavens. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray over someone. Let me tell you the implication of an open heavens. When the heavens of a man is closed, it takes an open heaven for rain to come. It takes an open heaven for things to walk. In the name of Jesus, every force that has closed the heavens over you, even as instructed by the Spirit of God, man take up Arukas Kodiata. Help them, please. I decree and declare your heavens open now. Koinonia, your heaven opens now. Number one, number two, the Lord put in my spirit to declare, I want you to please listen very carefully, that everything that has been prophesied and has been released but has not found visible expression Please receive this one in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I decree and declare between now and the end of this year 2022 
I command strange manifestations. Visible, help them please. Visible manifestations. Visible manifestations. Visible manifestations. When, when Gabriel came to Zechariah and brought a prophetic word, Zechariah doubted Gabriel and he said, I am Gabriel that standeth in the presence of God. You will be surprised at what will happen to you by this word. Let me say the second prophetic word again. Whatever has been hanging in the realm of the spirit, and by divination, manipulations of darkness has refused to manifest. I pull it by the power of prophecy. Let it find expression in this realm. Help them please. I pull it from the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This morning I had a dream. And I had a very strange dream. I saw someone, watch this now. I saw people joining a queue. And entering doors. The same door. But the moment someone enters, it closes. The next person who is coming must have his own key. And I saw some people standing in front of the door. They had keys, but the door was not opening. And then like a man who stood like a guard man would come with what looks like a master key and help them open the door and they will pass. This is the third prophetic word. Based on that dream the Lord showed me. Some of you may not have the keys now, but there are carpenters who have been sent by God as objects of mercy. Every door that you have been struggling to open, in the name of Jesus and by the God who sent me, I declare that door open now. That door open now. That door opens now. Listen, for some of you, while you are in Koinonia here, the physical manifestation of that open door will appear right before the service is done. I am Gabriel, he says, that standest in the presence of God. The most important thing is that the key that opens the door gets into the door. Even if you are not the one holding it, let mercy ensure that the door is open. For in Jesus' name we pray. Koinonia, God bless you. Good evening. Please be seated. For as long as for as long as God brings you here, I want to assure you, there is no going back the way you came. This, I, I'm, I'm telling you this and to our global family, as, uh, it, this, is a, this is a covenant that you should have at the back of your mind. You will never come here and sit down, sing praise and worship and do all of that and then waste your time and then you go back. No, no. There are some of you here, God wants to do so much in your life, but God is saying you are interrupting him. You are not allowing him to have the right of way. 
this is what God is speaking to me there are some of you God is saying by now we are not supposed to be at this level by now he would have gone deeper with you but for some reason there are distractions I don't know who I'm speaking to but right now everything distracting you from stepping into deeper spiritual levels I don't care what it is I clear it out of the way now Hallelujah. That's my assignment to clear it out of the way. And I clear it out of the way in the name of Jesus Christ. So that you can manifest by the Spirit and rise to your prophetic potential. In the name of Jesus Christ, please be seated. For those of you who are coming here for the first time, you're welcome. This is Koinonia. Listen, I am telling you that God is doing something new in this ministry. There are levels in the spirit there are there are newer gateways you see when you are faithful with what god gives you one of the things that he does is to measure a thousand cubits for you and take you into deeper dimensions of the spirit you can fake power but you cannot fake presence the presence of god is a signature that one is not by grammar When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, when the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Praise the name of the Lord. Ephesians chapter 5, please be seated from verse 18. Paul was teaching the believers in Ephesus how the character of a man who is under the influence of the Spirit. This leads me into my teaching tonight. He says, And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, he says but be ye filled with the spirit that means the spirit is not the only thing you can be filled with you can be filled with many other things it says be filled with the spirit verse 19 the biblical evidence that an individual has been full of the spirit is in the next verse speaking the moment an individual is full of the spirit there cannot be silence again speaking do not be drunk with wine wherein is excess wherein is excess there are two people here as I'm speaking you don't have to stand the Lord is saying I am bringing strange deliverance to your family yeah. this this issue of territorial limitations an embargo that has been placed on families Two families, it may apply to everybody but two families. I am praying right now, even as God has revealed to me, in the name of Jesus, any family that came here and all around your life is shame and reproach and you have been crying and saying, Lord, when will you come? May tonight be the night that God brings deliverance. <laughs> Hallelujah. Verse 19, speaking to yourselves in psalms 
in hymns and spiritual songs. It says, singing and making melody in your heart unto the Lord. So Paul is teaching the church in Ephesus and he says, do not be drunk with wine wherein is excess, but that you be filled with the Spirit. And that the moment you are full of the Spirit, something will happen to your speaking. This is very, very important. Tonight I want to teach you a very deep spiritual principle and it's my prayer that you will understand it and that you will, you will produce strange dimensions of results in your Christian experience on the strength of this light that you have. Koinonia is always a feast of lights where God grants you access to superior spiritual illumination. And while you are listening, you know by now that it is more than just the speakings of a man. Are we together? According to Ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2, verse 2 particularly, while I am speaking, the Bible says, the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me. So for every word you are going to be hearing, there is a spirit component to it. That is what empowers that word to find expression in your life. Hallelujah. So the Bible clearly shows us here that the first biblical evidence that a man is under the influence of the Spirit is not falling, it is speaking. The first biblical evidence in Acts chapter 2 from verse 1, the Bible says, Now when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all together with one accord in one place. Verse 2, it says, Suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a mighty rushing wind and it filled the house where they were sitting. Is that in your Bible? And there appeared unto them cloven tongues as of fire. The Bible says, It sat upon each of them. Verse 4, And they were filled with the Holy Ghost. The next sentence, and began to speak. And began to speak. So every time a man is under the influence of the Holy Spirit, the first area that signifies his influence and his presence is the speaking. Most believers do not understand the life of the Spirit. Most believers have not been mentored to understand the dynamics of being a spiritual man. According to the Pauline epistles, he teaches us that there are three kinds of men. Number one, he says there is the natural man. One who is not regenerate. One who has not encountered Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Number two, he teaches that there is one who is called the carnal man. That person can be a believer in Christ, but he has not exercised his senses unto godliness. He has not grown experientially above the grip of the flesh. He is carnal, sensual. That means his impulses are not based on the influence of the word of God and the spirit. That person is largely sensual. That means the activities around his life is governed largely by emotions and feelings. Please pay attention. So, you are a natural man if you are not in Christ. When you come to Christ through the experience of the new birth, you do not become a spiritual man immediately. Uh -uh. You are born of the spirit. But the experience of being a spiritual man mandates that you move from one who is called the carnal man. Another word for the carnal man is the sensual man. One who is driven by his impulses. The things that you see, the things that you hear, the things that you touch, the things that you feel, the entire circumference, the man is motivated largely by his or her senses. Are we together now? Then you graduate to the realm that the Bible calls the spiritual man. And the spiritual man, like you may have heard me say, is not just one who has been in church for a long time, although that can contribute to your spirituality. 
but a spiritual man is known by two biblical indices number one one who has totally submitted to the authority of the word of god a spiritual man is one who has submitted to the authority of the word of god in any and all matters of your destiny submitted to the authority of the word of god not selective submission you are a spiritual man to the degree to which the word of god becomes your new eyes the vista from which you see and interpret things and that your impulses are completely pro scripture number two to be a spiritual man you must have mastered the art of submission in the similitude of a wife submitting to her husband that you submit to the influence and the ministry of the holy spirit so you see that there are many believers that includes preachers that includes businessmen that includes church people who are born again genuinely love jesus genuinely but we cannot say based on these um, requirements that they are spiritual they have not submitted to the authority of scripture they have not submitted to the authority of the word of god to guide them in every and all matters and then number two they have not submitted to the influence of the holy spirit it's impossible to be a spiritual man without the ministry of the word and without the ministry of the holy spirit these are the two biblical provisions that translate ordinary men to become spiritual are we together now so paul in his apostolic um, work would visit the churches the early church he would visit the regions and have conferences with them mentoring and teaching them on various aspects of the kingdom life and in one of his lectures one of his um, discussions some of the discussions he was there in person and some of the discussions he wrote them in letters in fact in many of the discussions he wrote from the prison and sent it to the people to strengthen the believers so one region would read the letter and even grant another region access to it so that they would be strengthened and then he taught us that for a man who is spiritual listen carefully in exercising kingdom authority and dominion there are many things that are important in your life but that as far as reigning and dominion is concerned when the spirit of god comes upon you he influences your entire life but that his primary place listen carefully his primary jurisdiction for your transformation and translation is your words your tongue your mouth it is interesting that out of the many parts of your body that the holy spirit can influence he is interested in a man's words and in a man's speaking hallelujah psalms 50 and verse 23 please pay attention 50 and 23 the bible says whoso offereth praise glorifieth me and to him that ordered his conversations aright i will show the salvation will i show the salvation of the lord to him that orders his conversations aright that is the person who will see the salvation of the lord two scriptures and then i'll begin to teach in ecclesiastes chapter 5 from verse 6 and 7 very very interesting scripture the bible says suffer not that means do not allow suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin look at that scripture very carefully do not allow your mouth to cause your flesh that is your body it's an ancient word for body that means your body he's saying here is at the mercy of your mouth suffer not your mouth to cause your body to sin then he says neither say thou before an angel it was an error i made a mistake wherefore should god be angry at thy voice 
and destroy the works of thy hands. Look at this deep spiritual mystery that your entire body is at the mercy of your speakings and that you must be able to train and culture yourself that you do not stand and say, oh, I made a mistake before an angel. There are consequences, the Bible teaches. In Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 4, the Bible tells us, speaking about the principles of dominion, that where the word of a king is, there is power. Where the word of a king is, there is power. Now, please look up, believers. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ was designed by God to be a place for the maturity of believers. That means when a believer submits himself to training, to mentorship, to doctrine, among the many things that happen to you is that you will ascend realms in the spirit that will have physical expressions your maturity will be seen and known by all that you have encountered god but that you have also encountered the ways of the spirit hallelujah you must understand the culture and the modus operandi of the kingdom if you were to excel and to reign in the kingdom you're not going to use luck and chance and emotions there is a way that kings reign the Bible says in Revelation chapter 5 and verse 10 that we have been made unto our God, kings and priests, and he says we are supposed to reign. Now, many believers talk about the dominion of the saints as kings and priests. And that is true because the Bible says so. And that is the will of God as revealed from scripture. But the dynamics of walking in dominion as far as our kingship is concerned, many believers have not been taught. And so we have continued to program all kinds of failure and defeat and pain to our Christian experience. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got